Well, hello, friends. It's going to be a little Red Dead Redemption 2 fishing guide. Plus, my favorite spot where I recommend you fish. And it's going to have just lots of tips and tricks for new players. And also, if, you, if you're a veteran, we'll, ha we'll have plenty of tips for you as well. And maybe I'll find a little help along the way. Yeah. So if I show you on the map here, we are just to the left of Rhodes. Here's Rhodes here. And really, this whole coastline right here is a really great spot to fish. And my favorite spot is right up here where I have marked. And we're going to kind of make our way up there. But we're starting right here because this dock is just a great spot to fish. If you're just kind of looking for a guaranteed spot. Because I swear there's always fish here. And as we move up here. And an early tip on. If you're trying to just fish in general, you do have to hit level 14. And once you hit level 14, you're able to purchase the fishing rod and the worms. And what do we have here? If it isn't my favorite fishing pal, Big RV. Oh, howdy, partner. And in fact, I got one on right now. Oh. Well, let's see if you can pull her in. All right. She's been fighting me here. What you fishing with, RV? Good. Fishing with... Uh, Corn or you oh, out? just a nice, just a little, just a little worm action. Got oh, a little worm right. action going on. Because if you are fishing, you pretty much always want to be fishing with worms. Tip yeah, I mean, one. the thing about worms is they let you catch uh, trout and largemouth real easy, which are the more valuable fish you're going to catch in the lake. Oh, speak of the devil. We got a nice steelhead right here. Oh, nice that's catch. $2.50 right in my pocket. So remind me, RV, how do I equip my fishing rod? Well, you're going to press L1 and go into the uh, wheel. Press R1 then to go over to the uh, items tab and select your rod in the bottom right uh, corner there. Oh, there it is. All right. As if I've never fished before. And then to equip bait, I have no lures press purchase. L1. No, lures don't become available for quite a while till uh, mid-level 30s. And wouldn't you believe it? I got 20 worms stocked up, which is what you want to do when you go fishing. <laughs> oh, and uh, it's good that you do because if you look at the surface of the water here, it is absolutely jumping with fish in this look area right now. Fish. I mean, I feel like you could stick your toes out there and catch one, but uh, we'll oh stick to the rods for now. And I just looked at it, and I, I, I did my eagle eye vision, and look at all these fish. Oh, and this allows me to pick better fish. You can almost target the fish that you want to catch. And I'm just going right. to cast out. As, as you guys might be able to see, there's, uh, I mean, all the fish look relatively small in the water. They're out away from you. But you can tell the difference between the very small, tiny fish that are barely more than a line. Oh, there's another one. And then the larger fish where you can make out the, uh, the different fins on them and whatnot. Those are going to be your trout and your largemouth bass that are more valuable fish to catch. Nobody wants to bite. I'm on fish. Well, I just pulled in a little pickerel. I <clears throat> thought I had a bass, but uh, instead just a little, just a little guy. A little and it says here. you can tap two to attract fish by flicking the line. Oh, really? Now that yes. might be a new addition on the patch. I, uh, I've never heard that not before. Seen that before. No, me either. But nobody wants a bite. What's going on here? Oh, here we go. Come on. Well, I mean, I've had two casts, two bites uh, myself here. Oh, I think I got something. Come on. You want it. Oh. All right. We're just going to try that again. That's a rare non-hit. in such. Well, especially especially in this one. area. It's just, just crowded yeah. right now. It's full of fish. Oh, there's another bite. I'm standing in the water. But as you're fishing, uh, fishing is a great way to make money, and you can usually stack 10 of each fish. Not like the, the supreme fish, like a sturgeon or something. Right, I'm going to try to just get out of the water. Maybe that's what's messing with me. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, to just piggyback on Trev there, uh, especially early on when you're in that level 15 range, um, 
you're talking about 10 steelhead trout if you're picky with your casts and what fish that you catch. Uh, you could go back into town and make 25 bucks off 10 steelhead, potentially another 20 off of 10 largemouth bass, which each are worth $2. And you could uh, carry on the back of your horse a sturgeon, like Trev mentioned, a uh, very large lake fish. Uh, sturgeon's worth $7 at the butcher. So you could certainly start to pull in some money and just kind of make these loops uh, with the back and forth from roads uh, and mm -hmm. this coastline here. And if Pretty you're talking about trip, you fill up, making money, up. to summarize all that, you can – every to make – Money out of fish, you're essentially making from $0.75 cents to $7 per fish. And I just caught a trout, which is worth two fifty, and I can stack 10 of those, like RV said, which will in turn give me 25 bucks. So that's why we just keep fishing, and I took the long route here. Well, easier yeah, way one, to even, worm. even more... Uh valuable to the long term is that uh, fishing is a great source of health experience. Uh, catching the small little fish might only be 10 health experience, but uh, the larger ones like the trout and the uh, bass and the sturgeon are worth 20 health experience per fish caught. Uh, that helps you build up your health, which will obviously give you more overall health, uh, which will help you be uh, more survivable in any of the game modes. That that stat carries across whether you're doing PvP, you're just out in the wilderness hunting, or, or whatever. Uh, you're always going to prefer to have more health than less, and uh, fishing is the fastest way to uh, level that up. By the way, tiny little tip. After you catch a fish, you can just hit triangle to equip that same bait that was equipped. I didn't know that for a while. I'd always go into my wheel and equip that worm bait. Didn't realize I could just hit triangle. Yeah, it does save you a few seconds. Oh, Another tactic that you can use, uh, kind of an advanced technique, is as you're reeling in the fish, and as Trev said, you can look at those fish that you're, that you're casting near uh, with your eagle eye uh, while the hook's in the water. Um, you can keep reeling without setting the hook so when a fish bites you know you'll feel your controller uh, rumble and your your pole will uh, pull down and you'll you know like the fish bit it but you don't have to set that hook and reel that fish in if you just let it go for a second the uh, fish will eventually let that hook go this will save your bait for example you can see using eagle eye that it's a little tiny chain pickerel or something biting and you want to be catching steelhead to maximize your your worms Mm -hmm. uh, you can just let it go. You also can drag fish R2. in. Yeah, exactly. Don't hit R2. Um, you can also use that same tactic to just drag the fish in towards shore. You could have three, four of them that are trying to bite your worm. And you just keep slowly reeling. They'll keep following it into shore. And then you've got four four trout sitting right by shore that you can just uh, literally drop the hook in on them and, and reel them right in real quick. So now, speaking it doesn't always that... work. Speaking of leading yeah, the right. fish in, there's an advanced tip that we were going to show you where uh, one person can essentially flush. You can go into the water and flush the fish to kind of flush them inwards or wherever you want to flush a group of fish. Right, kind of push them together. Do you want to try to the shallow areas? Yeah. Do you mind doing that for me, RV? We can watch you. Yeah, no, no sure. problem. No problem at all. I assume you want While to flush, doing them, that... flush them from the right to left. Sure. Towards me. Sure. Yep. Yep. Uh, while I'm doing that, one one uh, point I just wanted to make mm -hmm. was that uh, the fish do migrate. So, you know, as you stay in one place, you might see them moving away, or all of a sudden you think they're, they're worth eight or ten, and now it looks like there's only one or two, or they're even gone. In this place, if you just kind of move up and down this coast, um, you will find the fish somewhere. They're always here somewhere. So right now we're trying to have RV flush these fish. Try yeah, to get no, them I mean, and, and they, over here. They're uh, they're moving across your screen right now, Trev. They're they're definitely. Yep. They move away from you. Got a nice cluster. Here. Yep, and I'm gonna not go all the way across there because that's just gonna push them away from you. I just kind of push that side in. Yeah, I can see a good like 12 fish on my screen right now, at least. Oh, got one. What do we got here? There's little bluegill. 
Little rock bass. What are those worth? Uh, the rock bass are, I think, they're one dollar. The uh, chain pickerel or red fin pickerel, those are the tiniest fish that you see on there. They're also worth a dollar. Uh, the least valuable fish is the bluegill. It's only worth 75 cents. But even that is going to be still a profit on your 50 cent worm. You catch a 75 cent bluegill. So uh, you never lose money by fishing. Uh, you, you definitely sure. are always making money. So I think pretty soon Small. here, okay. to finish it up here, we're going to go into town and sell our fish. We can kind of show you the kind of route you're going to take if you want to keep fishing. But another little tip is you can shoot fish with arrows. Or even throw dynamite at them. <laughs> well, you, yep, you can do that. I just want to show you what happens when you shoot it with the... Oh, i got to get my horse over here. Come on, Artax. My bow out. This is better when you're shooting large fish. Oh, shot a fish. And you don't get the XP for killing it, but you can still pick it up. So sometimes it's just a quicker way to farm them. But we should almost uh, try to head to our favorite spot just to show. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if they're biting up there. If you want, you can just hop onto my horse. Sure, yeah, I'll ride with you. Let me get my uh, pole tucked away here. <clears throat> oh, wait. Might have to get this. Oh, I have to take that deer off if we're going to do that. Just take it off. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> It'll uh, go with Awa. Just chuck it in the water. There you go. It's only a two-star anyway. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, that was no. like our, our second favorite spot. But up here is where you often get a lot of bigger fish, high density yeah, of them. And you can you'll go see out on the, the rocks. sturgeon up in this area more often. Yeah, you'll you'll mm. see the sturgeon up here more often. Which sturgeon are real nice. Uh, after the recent patch, uh, sturgeon are worth seven dollars. Uh, you can only carry one though because they do have to go on the back of your horse. You can't just carry them in your pouch like you can with the uh, smaller fish. Look, there's just a random dude here. Hopefully he doesn't try to kill us. Because we are playing online. <laughs> His name is Nasty Tyrant, so I guess we're finding out. But, uh, yeah, no, it looks nice over here right now, though. It's definitely packed. Packed with fish. Oh, yeah. Which is great. Uh, like I said, this, this is definitely my favorite spot. So you guys can see this rock uh, out here. It's a nice place to be able to stand and cast out into the deeper water. I'm gonna go do right now. And again, we are just down below the L of Lemoyne, and just up to the left of Rhodes, right here. Yep, yeah, little little northwest of Rhodes. On the map, there's a little inlet, a little point on the lake. That's that's right where this spot is. But yeah, this is my favorite spot to fish, and uh, those are most of our tips. RV, you got a dynamite to finish this thing off with a bang? Uh, yeah, I do. I <laughs> I don't want to do it while this guy's fishing oh, right here with us. He won't mind. Right here. <laughs> all right, okay. all right. You're the boss. <laughs> Afterwards, we'll throw a sturgeon at him, and he can put it on his horse. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the only downside to using dynamite to fish, you will get some fish. Um... They get, yeah, it's kind of like if you guys have done much hunting, do you it, know, you know, if you shoot a deer it. four times, it's going to be a one star corpse instead of a. Instead oh, of here a we go, right corpse. in front of me. Perfect. Right in oh, front of the sturgeon. sturgeon. Oh, look at the sturgeon. Yeah, we're going to get the sturgeon. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at the dead fish. <laughs> yep, so there's. Uh, can you even uh, loot him? Oh, yeah. I can't even pick it up because uh, I have to swim it's out too here. Deep. Yeah, push it in. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to. All right, hopefully this guy ain't too mad. All right, well, thanks, Big RV. No this problem. is uh, Clever Trev. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe. Red Dead Fishing Guide with Big RV.
Thanks for tuning in. Doop, 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 doop. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.